Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 35 for learning MM system in Django with React JS. In this video, we are going to do two things. The first thing, we will check this if a user this does not exist, then we will show the invalid message. Currently it is not we have not implemented this thing. Okay? So this is the first thing. The second thing uh, if you if you if you click this in the invalid section, then it will show the error like this. Uh, suppose we have we have this kind of thing. Let me show you. Here we have uh, like I have a wrong username and password. So it will show the five uh, five double zero error. Okay. So what I need to do uh, here you can see here you can see that. So it is it is showing that the qu matching query does not exist okay so what we will do here we will just simply we will solve this uh, query and then we will show the message whatever the message invalid message here okay so we will do this two things then we will move to the next okay so let's start to do, uh, solve these things so first of all let's open our views.py file here okay and in the views.py file here we have a data okay now what it is saying it is saying that this query does not exist okay it means the matching query i mean uh, you we don't have any email and password matching with that so what i will do we will use try catch exception okay so here we have try and then we have accept then exception method here we have and we will see models dot teacher dot okay does not exist and we will simply return in the teacher data we will simply return none okay and here we are returning that if teacher data then we are returning true and if teacher data i mean not exist then we will returning false okay now here what we will do we will catch this thing okay let's see this first that what it is uh, returning then we will show the error then okay so here we are so the first thing is this thing and the second one is let's enter any of the password so when we click on this login here we have a network and here you can see that now it is showing boolean false okay so now <coughs> let's show the message let's show the message so what we will do here i will create one more uh, constant and this constant name is uh, error message and set error message this is the error message equal to use state and let's say uh, let's add this empty okay and after we have boolean true we are uh, redirecting on the dashboard else we will say we will simply say what we will say here invalid username or password so invalid username or password actually we are not filling username and password we are filling email okay so this will be email invalid email or password okay so we have set this method now we will show here in the body so here we will do uh, error message error message if error message is returned true then we will say this will be error message okay and let's say class equal to uh, text danger okay so here we are now let's go to check this and let's see this what it is working how it is working this is the thing login here you can see that invalid username or password now let's put the correct value let's put the correct value and click on this you can see that we are redirecting on the dashboard okay so we have successfully solved this does not query exist and we have also known that how we can show the error message okay so in the next video so in the next video we will what we will do here we will just simply click on this and show all the chapters regarding this course and then we will move to the edit and delete okay so thank you so much for watching this video please stay uh, tune with code at lab okay and i know that i am uploading this video after uh, three weeks almost but now i will upload videos regularly okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you